Um, you may be wondering why we're driving at 8 o'clock on the last day of practice. And it's because I hit a tree. Hit a tree yesterday driving back to the boat ramp. I was actually watching Jay fly over in his little Delta flight. Meow. Shortly after that, smoked a tree out on the res. Bent my prop shaft and smashed an intake screen. So we're going to the Yamaha trailer to get that fixed. I fished this morning on the trolling motor. Got a few smaller fish. So we're gonna go get this fixed and then drive back up, get on the water and see if we can't find the winning pattern today. There's a bed right there with like a two and a half pounder sitting on it right there. Get out of here before someone sees this. I'm probably gonna come catch that one first thing. That one looks catchable. I don't know where that one went. That one's gone. Good morning. It's not that bad. I need an intake screen too though. <laughs> Come on. It's all part of the story. I show everything, good and bad. Well, we got fixed up. We had a few mechanical issues on my part. I screwed a few things up. So thank goodness we have good service crews to take care of that stuff. Nothing major, but stuff that needed to get fixed before tomorrow, actually before today. So we're gonna head up, get back to the ramp, and you know, concentrate our time up on that end of the lake. I spent the first day of practice up there, felt a lot better about that area. It's a little bit cleaner water. There's a lot more places for the fish to live, just more fishy looking areas. So we're gonna concentrate our time up there today and see if we can't just kind of dial it in. And I've been struggling figuring out exactly what the fish are doing, like what stage they're in or where they want to be, what they want to live around. And I'm not sure that there is an answer to that. It may just be kind of junk fishing. You fish some riprap, you punch some mats, you fish some submerged stumps. <laughs> kind of places wear you out mentally that's gonna be the biggest challenge keeping your head in it all day well, that's the end of practice for Ross Barnett it's a struggle it's a major struggle we had an interesting day very very few bites uh, I'm a little bit confused on exactly what I want to do tomorrow the good news is the two schools that I did find from the first day of practice today we rolled up there and on both of them I got bit on my first cast on a football jig so that kind of at least keeps me hopeful that I've got those two areas to run to and uh, find out what really lives there tomorrow you know I mean I would like to have some other stuff going on but Having those two is at least, you know, keeps us hopeful. A little bit of confidence in something. Thank you, Trip. Thank you, Brandon. You're welcome. 
you shaking your head about, Mr. Net? You just shaking your head. You're welcome. Look at you switching it up. Trying. Turkey season is upon us. Turkey season is upon us. Awesome. Got it. Good luck. Thanks, sir. Hope you win. Me too. I'll be watching for you. I mean, just start forging other people's signatures. Yeah, this place. This place wear you out. Long and just brutal. Mental. Like tomorrow. Tomorrow's like. I thought it was supposed to. I thought it was supposed to rip in the morning. Yeah, shoot. I'll watch over there. Game plan is going to be trying to start on one of those schools. Problem is we're boat 107 out of 109. So we're pretty much last boat out. These guys are really good and they usually pretty much find everything. No spots are fairly obvious. I'm hoping nobody else starts on them, but I would like to at least start there. I feel like I can catch a limit there possibly on one of those places which if I do that, that'll kind of help calm my nerves for the rest of the day. It's so hard to get bit here if I could just start with a limit, you know, within the first hour or two hours. That gives me the rest of the day to go around and flip and spinnerbait and, you know, try to upgrade two or three times. I don't think I can go there and catch 15 pounds, but I think I can go there and catch 10 or 11 pounds, which will be close to the cut weight. So that's the goal. Make Saturday, then we're about making Sunday. Mm hmm It's good. If you're if you're cracking it, you're cracking that whip. It's not it's not very good for just like swimming it. But it's a good whip cracking. This one screams when I cast it goes. <laughs> it's actually probably exactly what it sounds Dude, like. Really? I mean that was pretty much spot on. Like a little Little baby Velociraptor. <laughs> That's now. It was going really smooth till you showed up. Now I got a disaster. I, I got tangled up in it too. I was trying to do too many rods at one time. And this one got a little tangled up. But I got my knot. We're good. We're clear. Not the Pull them all off at the same time to, to save time. Right now my game plan is to fish those two areas, try to catch a decent limit, and and then just go search for one or two bites and try to upgrade throughout the day. So hopefully we just roll up, perfect world, nobody's on our spot, roll up, fish it, have it to ourselves, catch 12 pounds, and then get out of there and go flip and spinnerbait for a big one. Yeah, definite need of more clothing. Whew. All right, going to the trailer. <laughs> Game time. Not nervous. I always get anxious the first day like before the first day just because you don't know what anyone else found or what anyone else is going to catch so it's all kind of a mystery of how you how your pre-fish stacks up against everybody else so that's i wouldn't say i get nervous but i get anxious I'm keith. are you keith yes sir come on in man Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Hey, He's sitting oh, in your seat right now. You Come on, man. Thanks, man. I'm in no hurry. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Thanks not a lot. problem. What's your name, bud? Lane. Lane? Yes, sir. Good to meet you. You got a YouTube channel? No? You just watch on there. Burns up all my dad. I watch Well, you're going to be able to watch all the stuff he films then. That's where I'm gonna start, as long as nobody's sitting on it. 
If someone's sitting on it, then I'll probably run to the next one. If someone's sitting on that one, then I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Well, we got five, but we're just trying to upgrade. I don't think we have enough to really be in that cut range yet, so we got some work to do. We need like two more of those, you know, three to four pound bites, and I think we'll be right in there. So we're on our way to find it. Big and stay on there. I thought it was big. Don't you dare come off there. He's not that big. Yeah. He'll help. Oh, yeah. That'll work. That'll work. He'll help. Three, maybe. This is how I've caught every one of them. It's the only way I can get bit today. We got to start where we wanted to start. Problem was, there weren't any fish there. So... We had to do some changing up of things and we ended up catching five. We're gonna be close to the 50 cut line. That's my baby one. I got about 11 pounds, Dave. That's that's probably my biggest fish. Yeah. That's the mark you need every day, right? Yeah. I think they're getting smaller each one I grab out. One more little old baby. We needed more of those first two I pulled out. You'll see what they weigh. Bobby's got a big old hammer sack. Okay, so you said you had a five and a half and two fours. Where's, that's bigger, that's bigger than a four. I don't know. I got some really skinny ones. I got two, two decent close, and then I got just little skinny rats. You know, I mean they're they're not you know not even two pounders like high one pounders. Twenty pounds, fourteen ounces. Twenty pounds, fourteen ounces, and wow, what a day number one. Uh, a former Bass Nation national champion, two-time Elite Series champion from Rap from Idaho, the prodigy, Brandon Polinick. Brandon Polinick with five fish here on day number one. Five fish for 12 pounds, 15 ounces. I got all two up. Top 51 with 20 spots to spare. 31st right place now. right now. For Rigid Pro, Brandon Polinick. 12 pounds and Thanks, 15 sir. ounces in red. Gotta be happy with that. I mean, get anywhere you get over that 11 pound mark, and it feels like you can do a little breathing room in this tournament. It's all about the small victories this week for me. I mean, I love to win. I love to go out there and fish to win every time. But this week, I just never got anything that I felt was able to do that. And so today, I made some adjustments. I didn't catch them the way I thought I was going to early. So it was a good day. Made those adjustments, caught some fish. I'm on the right side of that cut right now. I'm looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. Weather's gonna change again. Fishing's gonna change. I know I'm in the right areas. Three of the guys had 20 pounds that I was around today. So I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. It was like a pound more than I thought. Like in the right area, all but one of the 20 pound bags were caught within eyesight. Oh man. <laughs> My two go-tos are probably going to be June Bug, Zoom Speed Craw. That little dude. So I caught majority of my fish on today on a punch rig, ounce and a half weight. And then the other one will be swimming a white jig with a Zoom Super Speed Craw. So same family of baits, but different styles of fishing. 
Those are gonna be the two that make it happen tomorrow. 20 pounds. Where to go? Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, whew. No? Whoa, there we go. That's what I wanted. Coming back up here. Another 13 pounds would be pretty exciting. 20 pounds would be amazing. So that's what we want. Just need to start off with like a five pounder, and then maybe a three pounder, and then maybe a four pounder. You know, just keep catching four pounders. Then maybe an eight at the end of the day. That'd be good. Gosh, I couldn't catch up to him. Go, oh, get out of there. That'll keep number two in the box. Oh, man. What a bad cast. Three in the box, baby. Biggin. Get in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what we needed. That's bigger than anything we had yesterday. Yeah, that's three and a half pounds, man. Mm, that feels good. Got me how I gotta take my pants off. Fish making me take my pants off. Five fish for 13 pounds even. He moves into sixth place with 25 pounds and 15 ounces. 25, 15, and Graham Palnick uh, looking to be getting back out there tomorrow, sitting in sixth place right now. And uh, uh, this uh, this challenging fishery seems to be getting more and more challenging with the, the weather additions. Finished up day two. We actually had more weight again than I thought. We had more weight than we had yesterday. A whole ounce more at 13 pounds even. So we've been probably one of the most consistent, arguably. 12, 15 yesterday, 13 pounds today. Tomorrow we need about 23 so we can make the top 12. We're sitting in 31st right now. Got a little bumpy this afternoon. Coming underneath that 43 bridge and it got big. And it's supposed to blow even harder tomorrow. So. Part of me wants to gamble and do something different. Stay down the lake, try to catch a big bag in Pelhatchee, or just run up and fish the same area I fished the last two days. It's crazy, it's an area that I didn't catch. I caught some fish in that area in practice, but the way that I'm actually catching them and the places that I'm catching them, I really didn't catch any fish during practice. Uh, but it, I just knew that area held a lot of fish and a lot of fish are getting caught out of there. So I just kind of buckled down and fished the conditions, what I felt like was going on. And that's been a Terminator popping frog and punching a Zoom Super Speed Craw. That's it, two rods, it's simple. How do I catch more bass? Uh, lure. What lure? What lure, jig. 
What color jig? Jig we use in Oklahoma is a Missouri craw with a ball of metal red trailer. And that's how you catch them in Oklahoma. There you go. Wait, how do you catch them in Mississippi though? I have no idea. You have to ask that man who's two over here. Yeah. What's your prediction for Brandon tomorrow? How many pounds is Brandon gonna get? How many pounds tomorrow? Fifteen. He's going to move up. He'll be, well, maybe to do the top 12. Hopefully so he'll be in the top 12. It's day three. It's moving day. It's payday. Getting paid. Fishing Saturday. I'm a little sleepy. But it's good. We're actually launching out of a different ramp this morning because it's gonna blow so hard. And the other ramp we were at was directly into the wind. So we're launching over here, driving the dam, cause it's gonna be protected by the dam, blasting off, and then actually checking in at a different ramp today. I don't know, I'm hopeful. We're in 31st right now, so I don't know what the 12 cut is right now. I'm not gonna look, I'm just gonna go catch as much weight as I can. And if we make the 12 cut, great. If not, then we don't, but I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna catch as much weight as humanly possible. Or is it at least possible for me. I'll see you under the bridge. <laughs>
So I want to congratulate you. Great finish. And you see that little kid there with the red Bass Pro Shops hat? Yeah. Go sign it because he either really needs to pee his pants or really wants your autograph. Meet you right there. Right there. Let's hear it for Brandon Ball. Nice trip. Hey, buddy. Sweet. A little better every day. I don't know. Maybe we'll finish 20th. Something like that. Not bad. Good week. I definitely would have loved to have made the top 12. Fish tomorrow, but anytime you can build on your weight every day, make good decisions, uh, I could have executed a little bit better. But, I mean, to move up every day consistently, you can't ask for more than that. You know, top 20 finish, awesome for points, especially at a venue like this where it could have been such a huge flip-flop because the weather was so crazy. It was such a tough fishery. You know, you saw a lot of guys catch 20 pounds the first day and then catch 10 pounds. Um, you know, so to be consistent, I'm proud of it.